The 11 story Timberlock Tower, which has sat vacant for several months, is now a pile of rubble. Take a look right behind me. You can see crews are cleaning up the debris from the implosion this morning, which was a sight to see. I brought my entire family with me. I'm super excited to see this. The anticipation was high. Not something you see every day. People in the woodlands had their clocks set. Why else would you get up early on a Sunday morning? And folks made sure to get a front row seat. I want to see uh, that building over there explode. Drew Dotrich got his wish. In a matter of seconds, the Timberlock Tower fell to the ground. An implosion people like this man didn't want his family to miss. I've worked with Anadarko for over 10 years, um, so I figured we're in the woodlands. It's right next door. It's worth waking up early in the morning to come see something like this. The petroleum company Anadarko says it moved its employees from the Timberlock Tower to the newer Hackett and Allison Towers months ago. The company says demolishing the Timberlock Tower will help cut costs of maintaining an empty building. Well, I was impressed. Uh, it's my third one that I've witnessed. D.H. Griffin of Texas Inc. executed the implosion, which has been in the works for months. The only fallout would be the dust cloud, but uh, Looks like it went off like they planned it. And once the dust disappeared, so did the crowds. And the skyline got a 10 second makeover. So what's going to happen to this soon to be empty space? Well, the petroleum company Anadarko still owns a lot, and it says it may be a green space for the time being, but it wanted to clear the land so they have flexibility for future plans. Reporting from the Woodland, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.